Okay, so now we're going to complete what we started uh, a couple weeks ago. We're going to plant our rice for the season. And the first thing we need to do is go back to those plowed fields, uh, flood them, let the water sit for a day or so, and then go out and plow it into a nice muddy mess. We want it plowed deeply. We want the water to really sink in, and we have a special attachment that smooths it. So we go up and down the fields making a nice smooth surface and wherever the tractor attachment doesn't work then we do it by hand the old-fashioned way especially around the corners taking out any snails and there's the little floodgate you can see that with a net around the tube so that um, snails don't get in okay now we go back to that place where we made the rice seedling nurseries and we're going to transport them to our own fields you can see how nicely the seeds have grown in the little trays the little dome is gone we scrape off the roots from the bottom of the trays and we do spray some pesticide on them because the seedlings are very vulnerable to attack and you can see that out of those trays they make nice little mats so we just roll it up um, and it's easy to pick up and then we can load them onto our very cool rice planting machine and you see we, we slide the mats in uh, the back and there are mechanical fingers our machine has four mechanical fingers that will grab about five seedlings at a time and poke them into the mud so that saves us a lot of work it's just like a little person little tiny hands and you can see the trays moving from right to left and then that works. Um, and one of the problems we have on the big fields where we previously planted wheat is that some of the stalks that didn't burn up will float to the surface and that will clog our little rice seedlings. So while he's out there driving the machine um, we will uh, scrape up all of those uh, bits of debris and remove them from the field so it's just a nice uh, wet surface and nothing will clog the seedlings. Now this machine is really helpful and uh, it saves uh, everybody a lot of time. Uh, you know in the old days they had to plant all the seedlings by hand, rows of people, now we just have these little machines. But the machine isn't perfect and especially if the little rice tray wasn't perfect um, it's going to miss some rows. Uh, so we still do it the old-fashioned way and that's usually my so I get to slog through the mud and I pull off about five seedlings at a time and poke the little bunches into the mud uh, following the rows so that we can get uh, rice all the way to the edges and then any missing spaces up and down the rows. I should probably be wearing a hazmat suit or something. There are a lot of chemicals mixed in here. There are leeches and snails and worms and all sorts of good stuff. Um, but it's a hot, humid day, so we just stay covered and wear thin boots uh, so we don't get stuck in the mud. Uh, we might get stuck anyway. And uh, we'll finish all the fields, and this is what the little seedlings look like as they're settling into the mud. And here's a completed field and we'll let it settle for a day and then we'll completely flood the field and we'll just let it grow uh, and it, so this is the end of June and it will be ready for harvest uh, in October